everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm trying out a new overnight oats recipe and it's strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. So I'm gonna turn you around, we're gonna throw this together. And then when I film in the next couple of days, I will let you know our thoughts, my thoughts on the recipe. Um, it sounds really good. I, I'm going to use chia seeds, which is not one of my normal things that I use. So I'm kind of, like I said, still playing with chia seeds to see how I do with those, but I'm gonna try and try them again. So I'm gonna turn you around, I'll show you. It's quick, it's easy. It should be some ingredients that you shouldn't have to purchase maybe one or two things. So if you've been making overnight oats with me or making shakes with me, you might already have some of this stuff in your home. So let's turn around. I'll show you what I'm putting into my overnight oats this week. All right, so the first thing we're gonna start off with is I have some old fashioned oats here. So we're gonna do a half cup in each of our containers. And then I'm gonna add in a half cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I just have the Great Value brand here from Walmart. So I'll pour a half cup in each of these. And then I'm also, since I'm eating these cold, I'm gonna make sure that these oats are covered. So I may have to add in just a little more on each of these, which I'm gonna go ahead and just put a splash more in there, just to make sure that my oats are covered. And then you could add any type of sweetener that you want. The sweetener that I'm gonna be using is, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my Skinny Syrup Vanilla. And I'm just gonna do one pump of that in each of these. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna add in is I'm going to do a half teaspoon of chia seeds. And these are the chia seeds that I'm using. already have one in here. All right, so half teaspoon of chia seeds in each of these. To give it that cheesecake flavor, I'm going to use the sugar-free, fat-free Jello cheesecake mix. And I'm gonna be adding in, I'm gonna say two teaspoons into each of these. So this is what that looks like inside. So we're gonna put two in this one, and two in this one. And I think that's about a quarter of the package, so that's only gonna add one point to this recipe. So I'm just gonna grab a fork real quick so that I can stir this up. Just want to mix that cheesecake in there, and then again, just make sure that your oats are covered in the liquid, so that's one. Oh, you're getting, them. yep, you're seeing that really good. Sometimes I'm not sure if I have the right angle on my camera, so I just wanna make sure that I have that in here. All right, so I've got that stirred up and in there. And the last thing that we're gonna add to our containers is some fresh strawberries. And I just wash these and cut them into small pieces. And I'm just gonna layer those right on top. And those look delicious already. I mean, they really do. Add a few more on this one. And I think that's good. All right, so I'm gonna close these up. I'm gonna put them in the fridge overnight and then I will enjoy them tomorrow. I'm sure they're gonna be delicious. I've made cheesecake, different types of cheesecake. I've never done the strawberry with the chia, with the vanilla skinny syrup. So I mean, the combination's a little bit different than I normally have, but again, the flavor combination I'm sure is gonna be perfect. And normally I eat my strawberry overnight oats hot. So trying them cold will be a little bit different. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up and get them in the fridge and I have breakfast made for the next two days. All right, so with that said, I'm gonna wrap up today's video. I wanna thank you for watching. Um, happy Vlogmas. <laughs> We're still working our way through those 25 days of posting videos or shorts. 
in my ch on my channel and I'm just working my way through that. So yesterday I shared a little bit of our tree. I got the lights put on that. Um, haven't had time to do much more than that. I had worked a half day today and then I went and did some shopping. So just not enough time in the day anymore. Let me know if you're if you're doing the same thing. If you're, you're shopping and you're decorating and you're trying to stay on plan. It's I mean it just it gets to be a little bit overwhelming sometimes, but you just have to focus and power through. So this is me powering through by making sure that I have at least my breakfast set for the next couple of days. All right. So with that said, signing off. Not going to ramble anymore. We will see you next video.